Well guys, welcome back. If you're watching this, I'm gonna take a wild guess why and you saw the thumbnail. Your Tesla ad coolant light is on. Until today, as a mechanic, I didn't even know Tesla's had coolant. Let's check this out. All right, so first thing you wanna do, so mine did have a code stored in it and this is actually super easy to fix. But, uh, you know, you may have a leak or need to take it to the dealership or something. So you wanna enter in here service. Enter. So now we're in service mode, okay? And the reason we came into service mode is to see if there's any service alerts. So in service alerts, there are no recent alerts because I cleared it an hour ago, but that's all right. So we're gonna add coolant. Now, something really important to note here is the Tesla uses a synthetic coolant. I just talked to the Tesla dealership, so I've been educated and oriented on all the coolants. The G48, that's Golf 48 coolant is what you want. It's a synthetic coolant. If you put in a universal coolant or anything else, you run into the risk of contamination and the coolant gelling on you and it will not circulate. Then you got a problem. Now, to add coolant, we need to get into our frunk. So we're gonna open our frunk. Open your trunk or your frunk. Now the add coolant is under here. So according to Tesla, this lifts up. Like that. We'll put that actually over here. And then we've got these clips. We need to lift this piece out. Like that. And here's your coolant fill, 35 kPa. Now we could see, you can see down there, if I can get my camera to focus, you'll see the minimum line and the full line, and it is just below the minimum line. Now, if you're having trouble seeing that, the way to do this is to take out this big tub here, and you've got a bolt here, a bolt here. You can pull this up, and here you have two bolts and a bolt here, and then this tub will lift out and you can see it better, but I can actually see it pretty good. The ad line, or sorry, the minimum line is down there and the max line or normal line is right there. So with that said, we're gonna fill it up. Now, generally speaking on a Tesla or any vehicle, if your coolant is low, it's a sealed system. There shouldn't be any low coolants or leaks or anything, but I take it with a grain of salt because I've worked at dealerships. And I know, for example, like the say the Dodge Ram or Dodge Journey or, whatever a lot of Dodges, my Jeep included. They use the R1234 refrigerant for the AC system and they intentionally charge it low so to save money and there was a shortage at the time. So it was the same with the coolant, but that is the Prestone G48 coolant and we're gonna top it off. So I wasn't even at the ad line and I used half of this, so about two liters. Yeah, it's almost four liters, so two liters. It's actually quite a bit. So there could be a leak on here somewhere. I did spill a little bit. It's windy out here. I don't know if you can hear the wind. So I'm just gonna splash some water on there to clean it up a little bit, wipe it down with a rag, put it back together, ready to go. Make sure obviously you're looking for leaks on the ground. It's blue. You'll see leaks somewhere coming from somewhere. I don't actually know what the coolant does in this car, so I can't help you. It doesn't have an engine to cool, so I'm not sure. Something with the HVAC, I'm sure. All right, help that helps. This back in. So I put some water on there, just some hot water to help clean it up. You want these tabs to line up and then this piece, see the seal, which actually was crinkled of mine, sits kind of inside there. So it only goes one way. See how the tabs are aligned in here. You push it down, just like that. Maybe support both sides before you go push on too hard and break something. And then the big one goes in, same deal. Line it up, only goes in one way. Push all the snaps in. And that's it. Got it all done, frunk's closed, back in the car. We wanna take it out of service mode now. So out of service mode, service mode, you're gonna click your wrench, exit service mode, and then hold again, out of service mode, ready to go.